Assalamualaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a very good and free software that can be used to program and practice with PLCs. PLCs are quite important for engineers and anyone who is working in industrial setups. It is quite important to work with these things and to learn about how to work, you need a proper setup for that. But that setup will cost you a lot. So what's the workaround? The workaround is to use free simulators. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a software from Alan Bradley that can be used with all the PLCs of Alan Bradley. Although the software is specifically for a particular type of a PLC, but all other PLCs from Alan Bradley have a similar kind of software. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how you can get your hands on the software, how to install it, and how to get it running. So the very first thing is you need to go to ab.com, which is alanbradley.com. So you will land on this page. And on this page, you can directly go to this downloads. Please note over here that you have to log in to this website using your free account. So the, for the very first time, you have to sign up on this website. And that will be a, that is quite a straightforward and free process. So once you have done that, you can sign in using your credentials. And then you would be able to download anything over here. So once you are over here, you, have, you should click on this downloads by product. In this search section, you should write 1763. It is a model of the PLC that we are going to use. So you will see that it is Micrologix 1100 programmable controller. This is the only thing that is available for free. And the versions that are available for free are these one, 11 and 10. All other versions, they are not available for free. So I'm going to go with this 11. That's it. I have added this thing into my downloads bucket. I can click on this downloads now. Over here, I need to select the files that which I want to download. So I'm going to click on this. You will see this thing because as this product has retired, so it will not be available for download straightforwardly. So you have to request Ellen Bradley to unlock this download. So you can click on this button. They will ask for some information. You can add the proper and you can click on unlock now. Your request will be approved immediately and then you can continue to downloads. Now over here, you have a number of files you can download. All these files are related to the PLC, but we are just going to focus on the files that are needed for running the PLC simulator on our computers. And for that, you need this RS Logix Micro Starter Lite. And make sure you go with the English version, not the Chinese version. And you can select this thing. After that, you need this RS Logix Emulate that is going to emulate the PLC. And as the last thing, to connect the PLC with the software, you need RS links. So we are going to need this thing as well. So these are the three things that, that are required. So over here, you can see that there are three items in your bucket now. Now you can click on this downloads button and here are the three things and you can click now the download now and the downloading will start. Sometimes the download might not start immediately, but it will show you this kind of error that all these things are not available and they are going to review the things and then they will send you an email that things are available for download. So you have to, you might have to wait a bit for their emails and then you can download the things from there. So once you have downloaded all the three files, you will get these over here. So now you have to install these one by one. The first I'm going to install this RS links, just double click on it and start the extraction. You can start the installation concurrently as well. For example, I'm going to start this RS Logics emulate as well. The very first thing is you need to extract it. And I'm going to extract this micro light as well. I'm going to go with RS Logics emulate and I'm going to install it. Just go through this process. That's it, RS Logic Simulate has been installed. Now we can go back and check this MicroLite as well. I'm going to now install this MicroLite. Go through this installation setup. It is much like the earlier one. It has finished as well. Now I am going to this RS Links which has been extracted and I'm going to install it as well. Click on this install RS links. Just go through the setup once again. 
Just leave everything as default. And it will take a bit to get installed. RS Links will take a bit longer to install. Uh, it is quite a heavy software and it requires to install certain drivers which are running at the back as well. So now we have installed all the things. So now it's time to run and check whether these are working or not. We have to go to C drive, then in program files x86. Over here, you will see a folder named as Rockwell software. Go into that folder, and then you can see all these three things are over here. RS links, emulate, and the micro logics. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to go to this RS links, and then start this RS links software over here. It will start the driver that will allow the communication between the software where you are going to draw the letter diagrams or and between an emulated PLC. We have already installed the emulated PLC, so it should be able to see that. So the very first thing is you have to configure the drivers. And then from available driver types, you can see that SLC 500 emulator driver is already there because we have installed that. So click on it, add new, and just go with the name, the default name. You can go with the defaults over here, and that's it. Now it is running. You can close this thing and minimize it. Okay, so the next thing is we have to run this RS Logix micro, and you should make sure that you are running this thing as an administrator. Now, I'll recommend that you go into the properties of this thing by right clicking on it, and then in the compatibility tab, you can check this option, run this as an administrator. So by this, this program will always run as an administrator. So double click on it, run it as administrator, and you will land on this software. Over here, you can click on this new button and then select the PLC you want to use. Right now, I'm going to use go with this Micrologix 1000, double click on it, and that's it. Now you can design your letter diagram over here. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with a very simple letter diagram. So I'm going to insert one normally open contact and I'm going to name it as I colon zero slash zero maybe. And then for the output, I'm going to name it as O colon zero slash zero. So this is the standard way of uh, addressing the memory location with which the input and output modules are attached in a PLC. Okay, now you should verify this project that whether you have designed everything correctly or not. So you can click on this button to verify it. If everything is correct, you will see that verify has completed and there are no errors found. And now the step remains to download this program into your PLC. But as we know that we don't have any hardware PLC, we have to use the third software which we installed earlier that will emulate the hardware. So now I'm going to go to that folder, which is of RS Logix Amulet 500, and I'm going to run this thing. And then the same thing happens over here that you have to run this thing as an administrator. If you don't, then it will cause problems. So once again, I'm going to right click, go to the properties, in the compatibility tab, I'm going to check this option. Okay, so now we can run it. Okay, one thing that I missed over here was that I have to save this program as well, which I've designed over here. So I can name it maybe as my first program. And that's it. Now on this emulator, I have to load this program. By using this program, this emulator will know that what kind of PLC you want to emulate, and it will emulate that PLC. So it is over here. You can see first program, I'm opening it. You can assign any station, maybe one, and that's it. Okay, so it is saying that one is already taken because I've already used that station in a previous program. I can go with station number two. So now it is running. Now I'll come back to this RS Logix Micro Starter Lite. And over here, I can download the program by going over here and then click download. Just go with OK and yes. And yes, the program has been downloaded. And now it is asking whether you want to go online or not. Yes, we want to go online. Now, if you see this icon rotating, it means that this software has connected to a hardware PLC. But in our case, that hardware PLC is missing. So it has been tricked to communicate with a hardware PLC, which in fact is an emulator running in the background. So from here, you can go to the run mode. So I can select this run mode and yes. And now you, you can see that the power rails have been powered up and they have turned green and your program is working now. Now to check the working of the program, you can change the inputs by right clicking on them and clicking on toggle bit. So it will toggle it from zero to one. And you can see that as soon as this switch closes, the output turns on. And if you turn it off, the output will turn off. So this letter diagram is working 
And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully in the next tutorials, I'm going to share much more details of uh, this ladder diagram. And we are, I'm going to share that how you can use maybe different kind of input elements and output elements, timers and counters and all the stuff like that. So dear learners, I hope you have uh, got the idea that how you can set up this emulator or the virtual PC, a PLC in your computers and will be able to use it. So take care and thank you very much.